hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys through my foundation collection now before i start i want to get a little sentimental i want to give a shout out to it's Lori's life she um gave me a shout out some of her subscribers came over and checked my channel out and i was super super grateful for that you guys because you don't know this youtube stuff is cutthroat a lot of people don't want to help you i don't know but i'm not even going to get into that but as um i just want to let you know it's lori life i very very appreciate you and yeah so all right and thank you for the subscribers that came and checked out my channel and yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just super, super, did I say super, super grateful for you, It's Lori Life, because that was awesome what you did, because you didn't have to do that. Okay, enough of the sentimental stuff. Today's video, we're going to be going through my foundation collection. We're going to be going through my foundation collection. Now, don't judge me. Don't come for me. I have, um, let me see, I have a lot of foundations. So don't come for me. Don't judge me. All right, so <laughs> I have them like in these little um, tins right here. So I have one of those. And then my lights seem off today. And then one of these. So let me know what you think. I'm about to go through these. It's no, I'm not going to, I'm at some of them that don't work for me. I will let you know about that. But for the most part, I'm just going to walking you guys through my foundation. Like I said, I'm helping me. I'm helping you help me to see what I have, what I, what I need to declutter, even though I never, ever, ever decluttered anything in my life. Well, I ain't going to say I haven't decluttered anything, but not like I should have. Just put it that way. All right. So we're going to I'm gonna put this up here because I don't have a taller table. So I got to work on that because now I like standing up more. I feel more, I don't know, alive. <laughs> All right. So, no particular order. They're low-end, luxury, high-end. So, yeah. So, the first one I'm going to talk about or show you that I have in my collection is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. And this is in the shade Malawi 230. And this is a very, very nice foundation. It's a very affordable foundation. And it's a full coverage foundation. So, yeah, I really, really, really like this foundation at Juvia's Place. I'm not going to go in detail because then we'll be here all day. So I'm not going to really go in detail. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to tell you because I'm talking too much as it is on this one foundation and I still have many more to go. All right. Let me move my thing back. Okay. Moving right along. So I have this Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I have this in the shade Deep 29, and that's what this looks like right here. We all know what this foundation look like. I have the Say I, Say I, Say I, I think it's Say I, um, Slip Tint. And this is a very nice foundation, but because I'm oily, it kind of, um, not kind of, but because I'm oily, it makes me like, um, super more oily so even though i normally blot throughout the day with my foundations with this one right here i have to do a whole lot of blotting but on the other hand i got a whole 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 lot of compliments on this foundation because it's like skin like and it just make you look like you have beautiful nice skin so yeah this um say I split tint oh and it's um let me see and this is the shade eight yeah, and this is a clean brand. So, yes, yeah, say I skin tint. All right, I have the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. I have this in shade Deep 40. No, I'm sorry, Deep 430. And that's what this looks like right here, the Marc Jacobs Foundation right here. So, I have that in 430. All over the place, high end, low end, whatever. We're all over the place. So, then I have the... Uh, La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, Broad Spectrum of SPF 20. And we all know what this look like right here. It was all a rave about this foundation. And I have this in a shade 460. And it's fine, but it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, like exactly, exactly my skin tone. So it's, I don't know. It's, it's good though. I like it. I wish I could have got a deeper shade, but I have four... 
what I say this was, 460 Sienna, but I'll mix it with a little foundation or do an extra little more contour or whatever, and it'll look great. But I do like it, but sometimes it look a little too light for me. Uh, moving right along, got to shake some of these up. I ain't used them in a long time. Moving right along, I have the Tom Ford Flawless Glow Foundation, and I have this in the shade Warm Nutmeg 11.5, and that's what this look like right here. Let me move a little faster. Okay, this one right here is the, what is this? Serac. Serac foundation. Now, don't come for me because I know a lot of people like Serac. Now, this foundation worked fine, but like this squeezy tube thingy and this pushing thing is not it. Like, I, I don't like this packaging, but I when I was... um. First starting YouTube, I saw that a lot of people was like, Serac was good, you know, they blushes and stuff like this. So I'm not saying the foundation is not good. I'm just saying that the uh, packaging of this is not, I don't know. You can't get all the um, makeup out of this pushing this. But yeah, so this is the Serac and I have this in shade, what shade do I have this in? I have this in shade 16, so... I don't know if you guys could see. So I have that in shade 16. I have Tom Ford Traces Perfecting Foundation in the shade 11 Dusk. And that's what that looks like right there. I need to declutter some of these, but I'm not doing that right now. I, I don't even have the courage to do that on camera. So I was thinking <laughs> maybe I'll declutter first. And then get on camera and show you guys what I decluttered. Because we might be here. I might have you here for two or three weeks. Talking about, oh, I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Nah. No, what? No. So, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you guys what I decluttered. What I decide to declutter until I get used to decluttering. Okay? Okay. All right. So, this other foundation is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This was a great foundation. I really like this one. It took me a couple times to find my um, shade match, but when I did, it's super, super beautiful. And this is the shade 5-5-N, five, five and that's what this looks like right here. This is a very, very beautiful foundation. Now, this foundation, I still have it in a box. This is another... Um, Pat McGrath foundation. So this was the shade Deep 29. And this is the shade right here, Deep 30. So I just wanted to see the difference, but I haven't opened this one yet because I'm I still have too many other foundations open. So I haven't used that one yet. One of my faves, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um what is it? Stays all day and night. I love this foundation. Now, this was another one that was tricky for me to get my skin tone. So, I, it took me like maybe three tries with this. But when I finally got it right, I love the way this look on my skin. And so, this is the um, shade 15 Neutral. And I don't know why I thought this was going to be too light. But it's like a super, super exact match. Because I first started off with 15 Warm. And oh my God, was it warm. When I say warm, warm like oompa loompa <laughs> i was like oh no and then i tried i tried one other one i can't remember and that one didn't work so the girl was like um try 15 neutral i'm like i don't know i don't think that's gonna work and it worked and she was so cool she was just like go to the parking lot she was like put some on and if it don't match she was like just bring it right back because i was like i just need to find my match so she was super, super cool about that. So yeah, the um, Airbrush Flawless by Tilbury. That's one of my faves right there. The um, Best Skin Ever is one of my faves. All right, another one of my faves, if I can get it. Oh, this, okay, no, that ain't it. Another one of my faves is the Chanel LeBage um, Hydrating healthy glow foundation now i really like this foundation as well but you know because it's glowy it makes me kind of oily but i still like it i just blot and i try to wear this like in the winter time or the fall time but it's super super pretty and i really like this and i have this in a shade bd141 moving right along i have the forever dior nude in the shade what is this shade this is the shade what shade is this? Oh, duh. So I have this shade right here, and um, I have the Dior Natural Neutral. Okay, I'm making up names. 
Calm down. Dior Forever Natural Nude Foundation in 6 Neutral. And that's what this looks like right here. Very pretty bottle. I really like the way that one look on the skin too. Um, this Dior Body right here. I have this in 6 Neutral. I really like this one too. And it gives a nice, nice coverage. I was thinking this was more like the MAC, um, you know, the foundation, the body and... The face and body foundation by MAC because you know it's similar in the bottle. But I really like this. I think this gave, uh, no, not think. I know this gave me more coverage than that, than that um, foundation by MAC. Moving right along, I have the Gucci Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. And this one's kind of tricky. I made this work, but this is a little bit too orange for me. And um, in this shade, I have, what shade did I get in this? 420 neutral and I can make it work but it's a little too orange but yeah okay I have the shaking them up because uh, I have the Givenchy tint couture eyewear foundation I mean eyewear I'm, I'm blind I need to get glasses you got <laughs> Givenchy tint couture everywhere foundation and I really like this foundation I like the bottle this is a very nice foundation um I even have a black opal foundation in here in beautiful bronze but I haven't opened that yet I have NARS all day luminous and New Orleans dark too I haven't opened that one I know I got a problem don't come for me if you don't love makeup or you don't buy a little makeup and you got a problem with that, just go off my channel. Go find something that you like because this is what I like. All right, so another foundation that I have is the All Hours Foundation by St. Vines. I mean, St. Laurent, so Saint Laurent. And that's what this is right here. And I really like this foundation. This is a nice foundation as well. I really like this YSL foundation right here. All right, another one in the box that I haven't opened is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And I have this in the shade Y535. And I had used, um, I really like this foundation. That's why I purchased it, but I haven't opened it because as you can see, I have all the other foundations open. So I'm just trying to use those and rotate those. So I take out like five, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six, <laughs> five or six foundations. And I rotate them through a few weeks. But yeah, so this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Old School Foundation in the shade 535. And we all know this is a beautiful foundation. All right, so another foundation that I like. Now, this one was only five bucks. This is the Ordinary three um, ordinary Serum Foundation in 3.2 Neutral. This is a very, few, um, very, very beautiful foundation. So this reminds me of... The Best Skin Ever Foundation, and it reminds me of the Pat McGrath Foundation. It gives you a beautiful, 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 did I say beautiful finish for like way less than half of the price. So yeah, I really like this one, and I already went through like one or two of these. So I had bought an extra one because I ordered them offline, and you know, it take a while from the ordinary, or it did at the point that I ordered it. All right, so this one right here was like a blind buy. I, I don't really have too much Burberry stuff, a few, but not really. So this is the Burberry um, foundation in, what is this? The Burberry foundation in dark neutral. Yeah, dark neutral, 130. And that's what this looks like. How cute is this bottle? It is so pretty. Got the Burberry in the front comes off like this very nice this is a very nice matte foundation i need to bring this one out i miss using that one all right so right here i have another foundation that i haven't um that i haven't opened so this is the fenty beauty in 440 pro filter soft matte foundation and i really like this one too i already have went through this one so i have bought another one but i haven't opened it yet as you can see and then i have the Dark One Polynesia um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer by NARS. And I used to love this. I even know, I know it's a tinted moisturizer, and I know I get a little oily or more oily and more oily and more oily. I still like using this. So, yeah, I still use it. So, some, like, a lot of times I'll just use it in the winter because it's cold, so I get less oily. So, yeah, I'll do that. All right, you guys. So, I'm going to put this in here any kind of way so we can move to my next uh my next box 
And then I'll uh, situate these later. I mean, you guys let me know what you think. Let me know what foundations you tried. Let me know which ones you like, which one, let me know which one of these foundations I showed you that you didn't like. Yeah, just let me know. Keep it real with your girl. Because um, I'm not telling you like all the ones I super, super like, but some of them that's like my fave, fave, faves, I'll, I'll say it. But I like the foundations. Okay, moving right along. So this one right here, the Fenty Beauty Stick, this one's okay. I have this in the shade Coco 510R, and I don't know, the color is okay. It's just something. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, this right here, the um, Huda Beauty 510R stick, and I remember the big rave about this, and that's what that looks like right here. We all know what this looks like, so that's what that looks like. I have, I just used this in a video, so I have, I really like this foundation. I have the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm in the shade 10078, and that's what this looks like right here. I really enjoy using this. It's super easy. Nice little clear packaging. Another foundation that I haven't used in a while that I need to bring out is a C8 Shiseido, Shiseido self refreshing foundation and that's what this looks like right here this is a very nice foundation as well um yeah self refreshing so it just make you look very very healthy nice you know so i really really like this foundation right here another foundation that i have is the hydromanic tinted glow hydrator by urban decay and this one is pretty nice too um, um so the first LYS um, foundation that I bought, I felt like it made me look a little green. And that was the DPG one. And that's what this looks like right here. And I kept it. I didn't take it back. But I still like the formula. Um, This one right here is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. And I have this shade in the 11.5 Warm Nutmeg. And that's what this looks like. This one, the, norm, the Warm Nutmegs are a little dark. But you know you can always light, lighten it up with your concealer and stuff like that. So yeah, so this is the Tom is Shiny. And we already know Tom Ford have very pretty packaging. So Tom Ford in Shade and Illuminate. Moving right along. I have the Chanel... Ultra Latent Foundation, Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. This is a very beautiful foundation as well. I need to break this out. It keeps you matte. It's beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah, I really like this foundation by Chanel. Ultra, Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation right here. All right, so this is one of my fades. I have a video on this. When I say it, my skin looked flawless and like the bomb. I think I had this, Um, I had took a picture with this on my YouTube community tab because it came up on Facebook as my year, as my year in, um, as me being a YouTube creator for a year. And this is the Guerlain Natural Glow Foundation 16 Hour Wear. This is super beautiful. Like, oh my God. This foundation is so, 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 so beautiful on the skin. And it's just so beautiful. I need to break this out right now why it's not um, warm in Cali. Because even though some days it is warm in Cali and we're supposed to be in the winter. But yeah, look at this. Uh, this is a great foundation. Let me know if you guys um, tried out the Guerlain um, Natural Glow Foundation. This is a bomb foundation. Another foundation that I like, well, I like them all, but some of them more than others, as we know, as we tend to all do. So this is the Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop in 21. I really like this one right here. We all know the rave about this foundation. It was big things. I still like this foundation as well, and I like the little squeezy tube. And I feel like it'll be easy to get all the stuff out because once it gets super, super little, you can, like, cut it and get it out. <laughs> All right, so another foundation. I bought this. This is the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. And <clears throat> this is the shade. All right, I'm getting thirsty. I'm doing a lot of talking. This is the shade 15. And that's what this looks like right here. So I had purchased this. It was like on sale for like a little bit of nothing. And I purchased it because it was on sale. 
when I could have saved more money if I would have purchased it, if I wouldn't have purchased it, purchased it at all. <laughs> and I haven't worn this one, and I need to. Another foundation is old school, but I still really, really like this. And this one is controversial because I know uh, um, not a lot, but okay, I'll say a lot. A lot of people said that the Mac Studio Fix Fluid, you know, broke them out. But we all know this is old school. This gives the most beautiful, beautiful finish. And I'm one of the um, lucky ones that it don't break out. So, yeah, you guys, I really still love this foundation, the Max uh, Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. And I have the shade NW47 in this one right here. And it matched me very well. First, I had, um, I was using NW45, but it wasn't like, um, it wasn't like doing me justice. So, I was like, okay, let me try NW47. Bam, that one does it all. All right, another foundation that I have that I haven't opened is the Inflatable L'Oreal 24 Fresh Wear. And that's what this looks like right here. I have this in 430. I haven't opened this one yet. I have the Huda Beauty in Coco 5R. This one is nice. You remember all the rays about this. This baby right here will keep you matte. It will keep you looking right. So yeah, I like this Huda Beauty matte. Sometimes a little too matte, but and I have oily skin, but it's still very nice as long as you um moisturize your face and stuff. But yeah, this is a very nice foundation. All right, I'm almost done. I got like about four or five more, and then I'm gonna go over here and get the ones out that I've been using for about a month. About a month. But yeah, about a month, month, a little bit over a month. And then I'm going to let you go. My, 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 beauty queens. <laughs> All right. So this other foundation is the Maybelline Stay Flawless Foundation 24 Hour Wear. You guys remember the hype about this right here. I forget what uh, higher end foundation they was comparing this to. But yeah, they were doing a whole lot of comparisons, and this is a nice foundation right here, the 360 Mocha right here. And then, well, I got, no, um, that's what I have, 360 Mocha. All right, so these are the old school foundations. It was a lot of controversy about this because I showed you the newer Marc Jacobs foundation that I have. So these are the old schools right here. Remember, like this give like one dot, give you like super, 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 like super coverage. But it was like, I don't know, when I have a video on this, when I first, first started, and I did get a super, super nice, super, super nice, um, flawless look, but I had to mix two because the color range wasn't that good, and so I mixed, um, light, I used, I mixed 82 Cocoa Light, and then I used... 86 cocoa deep and then you just like one dot and this to do your whole face and i still got this the only thing is the pump would get like super i haven't used them in a while so they're not messy but the pumps will get super messy that was the only thing well not even the pump it was the um you guys remember the old school right here but like that so then when you would close it it would just come up and do whatever all right you guys my face getting a little oily hummy But okay, let me refresh. Okay, that's better. All right, so another um, foundation that I have that I haven't opened yet is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation in 7W1. And that's what I have right here, but I have one over there that I already have open. And I need to quit buying stuff before I actually finish it. Um, that's what I'm going to be working on for 2022. Because sometimes something come out, then I want to buy an extra one or a backup. And then something else come up, I mean, come out or come up that I don't use it. And then I'm just, I just have this extra backup. So I need to at least wait till it's almost gone or finish it or something. I'm working on that, my, my beauty queens for 2022. And I know, I'm, I know, I know. I'm not the only one. So don't be like, yeah, girl, that's what you need to do. I'm not the only one. Moving right along. <laughs> Sorry, we already talked about the Estee Lauder. The other foundations that I have 
is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, and that's what this looks like right here. I really like this foundation. It's a beautiful foundation. I love mostly all my well, all my Tom Ford foundations. I love them. They're beautiful. I don't have nothing bad to say. Um, I have a a Kat Von D powder. In the old school packaging, Deep 66, the locket powder. And I really love this. And this one's not open. And I really like this powder. And I know all the controversial stuff with Can Von D and all that, whatever. But I had these powders already. And then I had bought multiple ones when I found out they were going to go to the new color. I mean, the new packaging or the new formula or whatever she did. And I haven't heard great things about that formula. So you guys let me know if you tried the Kat Von D like a powder foundation and a new formula because I still have the old formula and then I have one that I use periodically in my drawer moving right along old school old school old school and these are the last two and I really really like these these are bright black opal and I have sway mocha and truly topaz so truly topaz I use this have it's not open I use that to um highlight um, Sway Mocha, I use that to contour and a beautiful bronze. I use that all over my face. So that is it, my my beauty queens. Let me know what you think. Like I said, let me know which foundations you tried. Let me know which ones you tried that you don't like. Let me know which ones you tried you do like. Let me know you haven't tried. Just let me know. Keep the girl updated. If there are any foundations that you think I should try, even though I got all these, let me know. <laughs> <clears throat> and depending on what it is, I can make it happen. All right, my my beauty queens, I'll be right back. I'm about to go get the foundations that I've been using for the last month and a half. And then we're going to sum this up and I'm going to let you go. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to sit these down. So I have six foundations out that I've been, um, you know, going between or going through for this last month and a half. So one of them is one of my favorites, the NARS um, New Caledonia in D2. I really love the way this make my skin look right here. That's one of my faves. I've been using that. Estee Lauder, this is one of my faves. You saw I had that one in the box. I've been using this one. Um, the one, and then also I've been using my... Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I really like this one. I had tried that matte one and it did not work out for me. I I I don't know, but it didn't. It didn't. It no. It didn't. It it didn't work out for me. So yeah, but I really like this one, the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani right here. Oh, and I have the shade thir Yeah, thirteen in this right here. Then I also been using my Guerlain, another foundation that I really, really, really love is by Guerlain or Guerlain. And the only problem with this one is the shades, like she don't have a like a large shade range in the Natural Perfection Foundation because this make your skin look super, super beautiful. I have the deepest shade, which is 06W, and then the shade before this, 05 it was so freaking light. I mean, super light, light. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So I went with the deepest shade and I like this. It's a little dark, but I still like it. And it's very, very, very beautiful on the skin. The Guerlain Natural Perfection Foundation. It looks natural. It is perfecting. It's beautiful on the skin. It has broad spectrum of SPF 20. You guys let me know if you tried this Guerlain or Guerlain Foundation. And let me know what you think. Like I said, the only thing, the shade range is... But other than that, it's a beautiful foundation. Another foundation that I've been using <clears throat> recently, because these are the foundations I'm showing you now, is the ones that I had out for about a month that I've been going through that I'm going to probably put away in a few days and then go through some of these and alternate. But anyway, so this other foundation, I really, really enjoy this. I told you... The LYS Love Yourself Foundation Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I really love this one. I told you I had the DNG whatever one and it made me look pretty green. So this one in DN6, this is super beautiful. This is a perfect match for me. And I really love this foundation and I've been rocking this um, recently as well. Last but not least, another foundation that I've been rocking 
And it's like mainly when I'm in a rush because I don't have time. Or no, I rock it when I don't and when I do have time. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do. Let me quit lying. <laughs> but this is a quick one for me. So this is the Westman Atelier Foundation. And this is in the shade. What is this? I think this is shade 13. And that's what this looks like right here. And this is a very nice foundation by Westman Atelier. And then, you know, the, the little magnet is super beautiful. Oh, I got to keep that up. So, all right, my beauty queens, let me know what you think. Let me know what foundations have you tried. Let me know what foundations you tried and you don't like. Let me know which ones you do like. Let me know which one of these foundations that I showed you that's on your list to try. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell. Check out my community tab. Um, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Kisses. Peace out.